Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about line quality and what programs have the best line quality. So I know that there's a number of different factors, and I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel, between what stylus you use, what program you use, and then different settings inside those programs and inside of Windows that will affect the quality of the line that you're, you're creating. Now, as an artist, there's not much that's more frustrating than really bad line jitter. What that looks like, um, let's go ahead and we will open up Clips Studio. Hello, Clips Studio. Uh, on the left of the screen is the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro, which I'll be using for this demonstration. All right, so this is the Surface Pen, and you can see the line is wiggly. And that's with me trying to draw a straight line. If you draw faster, Almost every single program is going to create a straighter line for you. And if you zoom in, you zoom in, it's going to create a better line. Now, I don't use the Surface Stylus because I don't think that it is quite as good. I use the R520. And you can see there's a pretty significant difference in that line jitter between those two stylus. Okay. But what we're actually talking about in this video is the programs and the program settings for that. So I picked, yes, I have picked the top four drawing programs for line quality. The different programs use different algorithms to decide how that line gets smoothed and then also how fast or slow that process is. In some programs, when you're, you're stabilizing a line, the line may be extremely laggy, and that ruins it for me, especially when there's options that don't have that problem. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna open up. The four that we're doing for this one is Photoshop, which I don't like because it's Photoshop and it's not fully, um, it doesn't fully support simultaneous pen and touch. So for me, that's slower. A great brush engine, and just should be said off the bat, is easily one of the most powerful, if not, if not the most powerful drawing program for digital artists. Uh, I would put it right there with uh, Clip Studio Paint as being the most feature rich with a great brush engine. Okay, so Photoshop, Revell 4, kind of the new guy, on the scene. Uh, Rebel, I just got done doing all of the tutorials for Rebel and love, love the program. And they just released an update that supports simultaneous pen and touch and has improved pressure curves. Um, so it's just absolutely brilliant and supports tilt. We're gonna go through um, Paint Tool Sci, was my default in the past uh, just because it is the fastest of all of the programs. So lowest latency, less, the least amount of lag, um, and beautiful blending. And then uh, Clip Studio Paint. So those are the four we're looking at. Photoshop, Rebel 4, um, Paint Tool Sci, and Clip Studio Paint. Most of the other programs that I'm not picking are because they're pretty bad. Uh, like Krita does not do a great job by default. Uh, most of these can be set. Um, I just don't like. I just don't like lines in credit. I know there's going to be people who are complaining in the comments section saying it's wonderful. Maybe I've just not spent the time setting it up. That said, Autodesk Sketchbook just not very good. Medibang not very good. Just a lot of the other ones. Just I just don't like the way the lines look. Okay, so let's go ahead and just look at the different settings. Uh, we're going to start in Rebel since I'm here already. Isn't this pretty? I did the colors on this last week and uh, it was really fun, actually. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to pick a darker color and draw slowly from left to right. This is kind of a standard jitter test. If you draw fast, you're going to get these nice smooth lines. And then the properties panel here, you have an option for line smoothing. You can do pulled string, which I think is really cool. You can see this little physics based string. And so you have pressure. So you can do a light line. 
and just really control how smooth and straight that is. Now, keep in mind during this, this video, while I'm making this, I'm recording both with the camera and the screen at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit laggier, jumpier than normal because of that. Okay. So this is called pull string. This is moving average. So put this here in the middle and let's bring this to the side, move the panel over here. You can see just a regular line has nice, smooth, it's pretty clean, not perfect, but then a windows 10 tablet really is going to struggle with this. If it uses the Microsoft pen protocol 2.0. Um, any of the Microsoft pen protocol, the old Ntrig standard, just is not as smooth and clean as a Wacom tablet. Um, certain types of Wacom tablets should be said. Okay, let's turn this, actually, let's turn this off so you can see the difference. And let's turn it on and all the way up. And you can see um, that lag is introduced as part of how the line is stabilized. But if you're not stabilizing it all the way, you're just doing a little bit, you can have a extremely responsive, really clean line in some programs based on how they handle this. Okay, so that's Rebel 4. Uh, let me show you real quickly here something I like and appreciate. Turn on tip, tilt, and vertical, and tilted, just really lovely. I, I really like this. And I'm going to have a video just on Rebel 4 and pencil sketching because I think it's the, the best of the bunch. So just great, really nice. Okay, let's close this down. Let's go into Clip Studio and look at the line smoothing options. So we are going to Subtool detail, this is it. Okay, so subtool detail, you go here to correction, you have a bunch of different options here. You can choose sharp angles, adjust by speed, post correction, that means it happens afterwards, uh, tapering of the line, enable snapping, uh, a lot of different functions here that I'm not gonna go through. Uh, let's go to just stabilization, uh, this is three, up to 100, so with it off, Again, keep in mind, I'm using a different, a different stylus that has better line stabilization than the default surface pen. So actually I will switch to the surface pen for this. There we go. Okay, so this is Leonardo. Leonardo is extremely fast, but does not, by default, do a very good job with the lines you can see here. Line smooth. Smoother, you can still see some of this wave here in the line. And you can adjust how much. So you can see, you can create really, really nice smooth lines. I guess Leonardo made it in. Um, Shiver tail, okay, and mount. It's actually extremely fast program as well. Okay, so you can see there, don't save. You can see kind of what that looks like. There we are, a little jittery line. Let's turn the stabilization up to halfway. Not that much better. Turn it all the way up. You can see, again, we're introducing that lag in order to smooth out that line. Not bad. All right, Clip Studio. Clip Studio has adjust by speed, so you can do uh, stabilized based on how fast you're going and uh, reduction of stabilization when drawing quickly, which the, the program already is going to do. So I think I demonstrated this already. If you're drawing fast, it's going to automatically stabilize the line.
Okay, so let's turn that on. And again, if I'm drawing fast, it's going to reduce that. Post correction, this will do this after the fact. You can see it, it jumps a little bit when I finish. If you do sharp angles, it will generate sharp angles in there um, algorithmically. <laughs> I'm going to try and say that word today in a lot of random sentences. Let's see if people think I'm smart. Ooh. All right. So you can see a lot of different settings here. I really like their brush engine and the way that they, they do lines. Mm -hmm. right, let's close that. Let's looking at paint tool sigh and create a new one. Uh, paint tool sigh requires Uh, requires the artist pad or a keyboard because there are not built-in touch controls. Okay, so here's Paint Tool Sai. The lines in Paint Tool Sai are beautiful and so lovely. It really does an amazing, amazing job of color blending and so fast. I'll do a video uh, on the programs I recommend for drawing on a Windows 10 tablet because there's about four. It's almost the same list, almost the same list that I just think are phenomenal if you're using a tablet in simultaneous pen and touch. Basically with the artist pad, but I think that's it's the most enjoyable. You're using two hands, navigate and paint and switch tools. It just feels it feels right. Okay, so the stabilization inside of Paint Tool Psi. Okay, so inside of Paint Tool Psi is a little tricky, but go ahead and double tap on the tool, and then you're gonna have stabilizer mode. You can choose between version one, which is a really are nice, nice lines, uh, but we wanna keep in mind that it does matter when you're zoomed in. Oh, that is weird. See those little hookies? Right, right. Yes, I get it. Okay, so when you're zoomed in, of course, it does make a difference. Now, while well, we're going to double click here, version uh, normal, no, normal mode. And let's adjust and see. 15 is the highest, and then you have S. These are the hold string modes, although you may not be able to see the string. I don't know actually if it displays it or not, but here, because the program is so fast, you can keep the stabilizer level really high, and it does a great job. Just no lag, but a nice clean line. Again, if you're zoomed in, it's going to make a difference. And the stylus you use will make a difference. That is Paint Tool Psi and the stabilization. Let's jump into Photoshop. And we'll leave that open. I just reinstalled Photoshop on my computer again. I've been avoiding it because I've been wanting to not have an Adobe subscription. Okay. Okay, so here we are inside of Photoshop. You can see the line has some jitter. Um, by default, it's still better than a lot of other programs. The smoothing you have right here, you can drag and adjust the smoothing. You can adjust the types of smoothing like pull string mode like is in Rebel. And I think this is really, it's, it's such a nice feature to have. Uh, you can, let's turn that off, catch up on stroke end. 
So it's got this, this slow tapering in to the end just to get you that clean finish to the line. Adjust for zoom. Again, because if you're zoomed in, you're going to use less stabilization is needed. So it just means it's going to be more responsive. All right. So those are the options inside of Photoshop. Again, it's a great program. I just am not a fan of the subscription and the bloatiness of it. Okay. All right, that's it. Those are the four programs I recommend. Um, again, zooming in is going to help. Using a different stylus is going to help. And then using the built-in stabilization of the software will make a big difference for you. If you have a Windows 10 tablet and a stylus, this is a fantastic channel for you. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.